Brown Townsville Falcons. This is Mrs. Allen here. I'm going to walk you through a couple things today. To start, I'm going to walk you through um, accessing the student resource button. So if you're logging into a district computer, you're going to Um, there, it is going to take you out to elementary student resources.dnschools.org. Now, if you're not on a district computer but on a personal device, you can type in this into any browser. We suggest using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as they run educational sites the best. So, as soon as you um, are here, there's a couple different options for you to choose. So, on this front page, this home page, you're going to see these icons here. Um, this one here is probably the one that you're looking for. It's Lexia Core 5. Now, we suggest that you go to Lexia through the Elementary Student Resources page and not just Google Lexia Core 5 because Des Moines Public Schools has a specific license with them. So when you click that, you're going to log in with your student ID as the username and password. Now, Elementary Student Resources also has grade level tabs at the top. Um, if you click on one of those, it's going to take you to resources associated with any of the curriculum that Des Moines Public Schools has purchased. So there are grade level that you you can pull up for your child to read at home vocabulary readers decodable readers and um, the think central journey student book as well as magazine there are also activities um, associated with go math so you can click on any of those and that will also connect you with games and videos um, and lessons that are related to go math lessons. So feel free to explore those. Well, I'm going to take you back to the home page. So if you scroll down, um, these are the systems that your child is likely using from home to access their online learning. Now, any of these three icons, you're going to use the full student email, which is your student ID number at student.dmschools.org. And your DNPS password. The DNPS password is assigned by your teacher or your school. So please check with your teacher to determine what that password is if you're not sure. So from here, you can access Canvas, Teams, or Clever. We don't use Clever, so please ignore that one. So from here, you can click the Canvas icon and it will take you out to your dashboard. Now, your dashboard is only going to have one course card on it, and that is the um, continuous learning card. So you can click that and it'll take you in and you can click through to get access all learning activities and lessons that Des Moines Public Schools has uploaded for your child. If we go back to the resource page, there's also Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're going to access Microsoft Teams through the school bus, it's going to launch the browser. So when you're launching the browser, you're not going to have the functions that Microsoft Teams desktop application has. So we highly suggest you on this menu bar that you go all the way down to the bottom where this icon is a little um, desktop screen with an arrow pointing down. And you can see it floats um, the words download desktop app. Now, if you click that, it's going to launch um, your install. If it doesn't launch the install, um, it should pop up at the bottom of your screen to then click to launch the install. So um, we highly encourage you using the desktop app just because you will have full function of the application. But if you choose not to, you're welcome to use the browser as well. So if you're on a school computer, you can also search for that application to already be downloaded on your computer right there from um, the magnifying glass. So it should say Microsoft Teams. If that doesn't come up, go ahead um, and download onto your district computer and then you should have access to that through your district computer. So that is what we have for options through the DMPS Elementary Student Resources 
if you are um, running into any problems or looking for um, troubleshooting help, you know, go ahead and type in how you can access myself or Mr. Burnett um, through bts.downtownschool or just downtown school at dmschools.org. And that email will direct you to me and I will do my best to support you. When you send an email, uh -huh. include your students. Um, as well as name. And when you are describing the issue, if you um, have any error messages that you can include or screenshots, that is extremely helpful. Um, when you send the email, if you want to, um, so that I connect with your teacher as well, you can CC your teacher's email so that they also are in the loop of what's going on. So feel free if you're looking for any troubleshooting support to email bts.downtown.org and we will be available to help you as soon as we can. Um, hope you're having a great day. Hang in there, guys. We're all in this together. See you soon.